In the distance, metal rights fall with greater frequency. The fire in the forest burns so hot, not even the rain is putting it out. Your laptop battery is alright for now, but it won't be for long. If the power in the house doesn't come back on, you can think of LAN 1's result. The small backup generator stored behind the mausoleum. What? Oh man, you're going to use that? That's sucks, what a stupid idea. We have to wait along. I'm running low on battery power. But the cake mix, ah, oh, what's that so dumb? I doubt it matters. We might as well just use a new old crap playing ground. Fine, I guess. The sprite is pretty hard to get. You guess that's what you get for originally, prototyping it with any something that unshadows mischief and punks to reason. I've done you. This is all decision, not yours. Oh, yes, sweet. Now we're talking. See if you can distract it. I'll try to sneak up on it. The sprite finds the distracting manner in which you fly about to be rather distracting. The pecky sprite elude you again. Not even the god Covenant himself can outfox it. And now only missing is your attempt to create the colonel spray to drop the massive tome. The entire house rattles under the astonishing gears of the book. In the other room, Nana's ashes dump into the sprite, which is caught on a wall by the door scene. You find a circuit around toppled again. This time you're quite sure it wasn't your fault. The sprite is nowhere to be found. Oh my, where did it go? I can't find it anywhere in the house, no time to worry about it. The next thing we should do is get yourself a copy of the game from the car. You need to connect to my client so I can repeat your steps and presumably me join you, wherever you are. We should do this quickly before my house burns down. What? There's a fire? That will be soon. Oh jeez, so what is thing already? It looks like it requires a lot of grease to move. I don't have enough to really catch the door either. How much should you have? Zero. Oh! Uh, I thought about jumping to the car from the ledge earlier, but that sounds really dangerous. I have a better idea. Follow me upstairs. You were about to head upstairs, but you thought there was something behind you. It was faint, but you could swear it was a small light that had chuckled. I was the lines of a spirit that hoo hoo hoo. I'm not sure you even saw woman, let alone any of our hypothetical antics, but whatever it was, you might have got a glimpse of it. It sure gave you the woodies. You head upstairs on your way to the balcony, your PDA is acting up again. Hey bro, check it out, I'm working on some new rhymes. Dude, I don't have time for your nerdy raps. Come on, this is hell of it, just listen. It sounds like you don't even believe me, that I was about to get blown up, but I really was. But no, I'm in some weird dimension that's burps at me too or something. And now on top of that, I think I'm being haunted by my land grandma. Uh, for real? Yeah, it's true. But I'll text you later about it. I think I called up some sick rooms about all this. Man, see, I just don't think all the ripening stuff is really as cool as I think it is. No, this is build up at check it. No, I have to go. Bye. Wait, wait. Am I getting those greedy wanderers? But I'm getting hard and dangerous. Sounding men in space for saving us. See which players more courageous. Ben or Bruce? Do us what you choose. Pull the blow shoes to use an up circuit. I feel like sacrifice, I mean, sacrifice. We'll have to suffice. Oh, flock it. Bro be in stained glass saint. I'm on the cross getting hell like Chris Pelagerus. Bruce left off father's crucifix. Knife of his fucking savior fist. Restrain his heart, spare me, my clan redux. While brushing me remain danger, dangerous. When a plan gone astray pays off a wasted quaterus, as stray gathering to layers of night, McConaughey's vague remainder dust. Wait, uh, McConaughey wasn't even in any of these material movies, was he? I have to have a trap about, I don't know, McCarthy Man or something. Be the president, it be gold. I'm by my mail so that no one's give a shit about black presidents in movie anymore. See, you've got to film me what in and what's going on, so I have something to wrap about besides all, the, all your dub shit movies. You head up to the balcony to find out what was as, as in mind. She's messaging you again. I'm lifting the car up to the balcony. Wow, okay. Once it is up, retrieve the game. Then I will put it back down on the driveway. But the door is locked. Then back a window. But it's my dance car. 
It's just a window, and it's sort of an emergency. Otherwise, I promise I will handle the car with velvet, velvet clothes. All right. You can claim to agree, but hey, accidents happen. We double check Wikipedia to make sure if Rose is really gone. Indeed, this seems to be the case. TG is still pestering you, of course, but another charm is now logged in as well. I'm back! Oh, hi! I want to investigate this explosion I heard. W was it by any chance a meteor? Yes! What did you know? Oh, man, it's kind of an over long story. Anyway, are you okay? Did you blow up your yard or start a fire or anything? No, I'm fine. It landed a pretty good voice from my house, and I went to look at it. And it's pretty big. But Bell doesn't want me to go near it, and so I came home. He seems to think he's dangerous. Well, gosh, he's probably right. Anyway, what have you been up to, John? Oh, did you get my package yet? Uh, yeah, I was trying to get it, but Rose dropped my car into a real spooky bottomless pit and the package was in the car, and I'm very sorry about that. Oh no! Well, okay, I guess I should start at the beginning. See, a meteor blew up my neighborhood. That's terrible, John, I'm so sorry. But I'm okay, and my horse is too, sort of. That game I was telling you about, Zburb, which was playing with Rose, sort of transported me somewhere at the last minute. But now I'm trapped here, and it's weird and dark, and I can't find my dad, and I just lost the, the car and my copy of the game in the pit, and I think I have to save the world from the apocalypse. Oh, uh, well, it sounds very crazy and kind of scary, but it also sounds kind of exciting. I don't know, John, maybe this is your destiny. If anyone can save the world, I think it is probably you. Wow, you think so? Yes! Well, okay, but if that device is that simple, I was about to connect to Rose to help transport her and save her from materials and fire and stuff, but she says battery power and I lost the game disc, so I think I have to get TG to use this copy to save her. But the jackass won't shut up and stop helping and stuff. <laughs> He's so silly. Yeah, anyway, I should talk to him about it, so be right back. When the fame crew zones where the president's at, I'm like, if the dude blacks, I'll hit my hat. Turns out he is, so we'll hold down, directors get corruption, like we'll flip or shit, the other shaming shoes or something. It's called free emancipation, if it's not presediction, it's called ascension. In Bruce and Mighty, whoops, different Bruce for someone I just mentioned. Ah! Got to explain to me why this end could ascension to think I shit a brick. Not even he can convey his attention with his quick spell weight. As a defy of his tension, sit of in rap, what he will rattle a sprint, and some guy eyes with his doors and patronizes, I guess the gross it is a mother of inversion. Stop raping for a second, you horse it has. I have something important to talk about. What's up? Rose is in trouble, and she needs help. I was going to connect to her with Burr, but I lost my copy. Okay. I saw she lost battery power. If she can't get back up and running, she needs someone with the game to get her out of there before I was burned down. So I think you should use a copy of the game to help her. My copy? That's going to be tough. Why? I lost it. It's a stupid story and I'd rather not talk about it. She'd be embarrassing you. I thought you said you had two. Well, yeah. What well, is my brother's copy? Okay. Well, get this then. Alright. But it's not gonna be happy about that. Whatever. I still might want to wait Rose's work to get up to speed on this. Oh, man. What? Nothing really. Looks like I'm seeing the girl turns too late. On can I think, you know? Ah. <sighs> Your laptop is out of battery power. There's only one thing left to do. Time to make your way to that backup generator. That would be such a waste of time. Besides, you already need one while ago. You retrieve it from your little bag and apply it to your laptop. You can select the laptop plus cozy. That would be incredibly ill-advised. There are dark forces you just don't want to mess around with. You understand this better than most. You pull the book down. You grab the knitting bag and the gimbal, in that order. You saw the logistic code puzzle with your three models. The three auto balances leaving the knitted bag accessible in the wood card. You feel a lot more comfortable with this weapon. You're so handy with those needles. You feel like you should probably use them to fit a fourth fish. You lose the wood card in the process, severing the tree. Hey, careful with all the stuff. That for us will be a posterior process of time. Besides, you're quite sure you never heard of this creature called Cthulhu before. There are, however, many other specimens of zoologically dubious you're familiar with, such as Ftulu, full patrician of misery. 
to hear his mumbles by the gargoyles to know the epoch of joy has come to an abrupt end. And Ruby Glit, Shambis, king of Grotesque, wears lord of the moist beyond you, hearing his melodious ships and two clicks cause his one's bones to explode. And of course, the ugly girl the deep one. Whenever I grin this teeth, or the children of random galaxy somewhere will fall continuously for the line of the near span. It's the first and smallest of smaller gods, appointed in servitude of the vile, unformidable pantheon of million gods which caters to the whim of the bicycle of all our terrors, an omniscient, omnipotent holder of the elite few, forever cloakers in, in the darkness of the frozen tree. And there, there's a strange page containing some rather mysterious notes of summoning procedures. We've never been quite sure what these diagrams are getting at. Your capsulog gave everything the way you wanted, two up in the tree, and head downstairs. You figure that's enough daily dialing, time to get a move on.